All right, so uh, tell us about protein folding. Because you know when we learn about chemistry, we learn about chemical reactions. And we're not really taught that the shape of the molecule should have anything to do with anything. Mm. It's just what is the chemical symbol. And when you write down the chemical equations, there's, there's no shape in there. There's just what elements and molecules right. comprise it. So, so and, the, and, those, and those equations don't really ever represent the three-dimensional nature. Exactly. You don't even know which if it's, it has handedness. Yeah. Yes. Right? So t take us from there. If we think about proteins. Proteins are these fundamental building blocks of life. Yeah. They're inside of everyone. They, they make up everything we, we have, basically. Mm -hmm. And they're made up of, of what's called a sequence of amino acids. Each amino acid is a molecule. Uh -huh. There's about 20 different amino acids, and you put them together in a, in a long string. Ever or just in life? In, in, in life, you can have non-natural amino acids as well that, mm -hmm. you, that you can make as you well. You can make them. You can make them mm. okay. and actually use those for drugs sometimes. You string these amino acids together, and that becomes a protein, but they don't exist as, as these strings. They fold up spontaneously in the cell right. to create these 3D shapes. And why that's important is that these proteins, they're basically molecular machines. They don't just you know, exist by themselves. They actually like create these little pieces of machinery. They, they interact with other proteins. They interact with other biomolecules like DNA and RNA. Right. Um, and that interaction is a shape fitting. Exactly, right. exactly. So these oh, proteins- It's a puzzle, it's a 3D puzzle. It's a 3D yeah. puzzle. Exactly. It's a 3D, they, a 3D uh, jigsaw puzzle. And, and it's not static. Which is way harder than yeah. a 2D jigsaw puzzle. And these are not static things. It's not just static puzzle pieces come together. They change shape. So right. something comes in contact and that opens up something else on the other side of the protein which changes the machine and, and on and on it goes. And, and that's what I was going to ask you. What speeds is this folding taking place? Is it continuous? Once it folds, that's it. But you've just told me, no, it just keeps moving through the whole thing. Yeah, these, these, these are really, really complex dynamical systems. Yeah. You know, composed of you know, thousands, millions, trillions of atoms within our cells, unfolding over the course of, you know, microseconds and, and, and beyond. And so. this dynamism that you're talking about but What does... word is that? Dynamism? That's a word? Isn't that a word? Dynamism? I think no. I just made it up. Mism. Oh, dynamism. No, dynamism. 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 Thank you. Thank okay. you. I'm correcting grammar. This is a first. <laughs> this is. <laughs> dynamism. Dynamism. So this it's a new kind of dyna dinosaur. Right. Dyn yeah, dynamism. Not dinosaur. Dinosaur. Not dinosaur. 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 That maybe biology has yet to even figure out. Th this is really interesting. We ha we have these little molecular machines, these proteins, and we care about that three D structure and how they work for two reasons. One, we want to understand you know, how our cells work because if something goes wrong with that, which is the case for disease, right. mm. then we want to understand okay, where can we or where do we actually need to go in and start fixing that, right. or and how we can stop it from actually going wrong in the first place. Exactly. Right. Exactly. So that that's one thing. And then when we think about, okay, how can we go and fix that? What we're actually saying when we're doing drug design, we're saying, can we create another molecule that will come into the cell and actually start modulating these molecular machines? It's going, this, this drug molecule is going to actually attach to this protein over here, and that's gonna cause this protein to change shape, for example, and so it won't operate how it normally does, or and so we stop that protein working, or we make it work better. These are the sort of things we do that in drug design. kind of reminds me of messenger RNA uh, vaccines that we developed for COVID. Yeah, you know, th there's so many different types of molecular mechanisms that we take advantage for for drug design. Wow. Are the folding proteins generally following a set pattern in the way that they do fold? And you're able to map them, and when they misfold, that's when you're able to flag that up, or have I just reinvented something or talked rubbish? That'd be cool. No, no, you're, 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 you're onto something. So, That'd be so great. So, you know, right. like the, I mean, the, the amazing thing is that we can actually, turns out, predict how these proteins fold. Mm -hmm. So they oh, are- So you're modeling they, that Yeah, we're, mo we're modeling that with deep learning, with neural networks. That's what AlphaFold, you know, and all its generations are, are all about. And um, 
that means that we can actually just take in a sequence of amino acids, knowing nothing about this protein before, and then get out the 3D structure. And normally this would take people months, if not years, to work out this wait, 3D wait. structure. So how is it that AlphaFold knows how a large molecule wants to fold? Again, th it's this, gotta know that in yeah, some way. It, it, it's, it's learned this mm. from a few hundred thousand examples. So chemists, biochemists over the last 50 years, they've been working out these protein structures by hand. They've right. been literally wow. synthesizing protein, crystallizing it, then shooting x-rays at this to like look at the electron scattering. And from that, you can resolve the protein structure. It's, it's, it's a pretty hard process. But people have been oh, doing so that, that. That's your way to photograph what the shape of the molecule is. That's your way to photograph the, it in with, reality. With, yeah. the, with that kind of, it's basically an electron microscope at that level. Yeah, similar, it's like right. electron scattering, yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. And so people have been doing that for the last 50 years and depositing these structures. And now we've taken all of that data and trained a neural network to go just from the input of what is this molecule description to try and predict all of that data. Right. And the amazing thing is, and this, this is really remarkable, is that you can then train this on the last 50 years of data. That's a couple of hundred thousand protein and biomolecular systems. Mm. But you can apply it seemingly to everything we know about in the protein universe, in the proteome. Um, well, it has proteome? the... Proteome? The proteome. Oh, we like that. Oh, oh proteome. The proteome. proteome. Yes. Oh, proteome. Uh, proteome. Oh, I yeah. like that. So how yeah. accurate is AlphaFold, an AlphaFold, we're on the third iteration with its predictions? Because... AI's been around a little while, as you've already said, and you're not the only AI tool that's out there, but how accurate is this particular tool? Yes, so, so AlphaFold 2 right. was that big jump where we started to get experimental level accuracy mm -hmm. for just proteins. And that's what won the Nobel oh, Prize so in Chemistry. So you balanced it off against empir empirical yeah. experimental yeah, the, the, yeah. the benchmark is doing the real lab work itself. Mm, right. So AlphaFold 2 reached that level. Now AlphaFold 3 expands from just just proteins to incorporate other biomolecular types. So proteins with other proteins, proteins with DNA, with RNA, with what's called small molecules, which are they go to the neighborhood. Drugs. They start mixing all that up. Or maybe not the neighborhood. Maybe <laughs> that neighborhood gets a little bit of an upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.